All right, everybody, we are here today with uh, the CEO and founder of Soulcraft. Uh, this is a game on Solana that I'm super excited about. Uh, we found out about this a little bit, a little while ago and, and absolutely love the concept. And uh, so we have the CEO and founder himself. Uh, he goes by Dwarf King. Uh, my friend, why don't you uh, explain yourself and uh, kind of let us know what's going on, where you come from, what's going on, and uh, you know, give us the lowdown. Break it down for us. All right, man. Well, uh, my name is, uh, I guess, Dwarf King or Malachi is my um, my real life name. Um, I uh, am the CEO founder of Soulcraft, and I put this uh, kind of thing together as just like a, a, a it started off obviously as the same way everything does as a dream, and uh, you know a, along the way we we picked up some uh, absolutely amazingly skilled team members um, that I'm really proud of. Uh, but it didn't always start off like that. You know, when we started off, we had a, a much smaller team and, uh, you know, like you, you lose people along the way because not everyone's willing to do the long trip. Mm -hmm. uh, and because okay, we've been building six months, man. And, um, you know, we didn't do our marketing uh, back then because we wanted to just get a level ahead of where some of these projects are at uh, and be able to like plan it strategically. I, I, don't, I don't understand the the logic behind launching a rushed uh, marketing strategy and a rushed uh, hype created project for right. just just to be for the hype. Um, you know, I think there's a massive market in the Solana ecosystem right now uh, for these kind of hybrid games, which offer playable game and offer uh, game fi and DeFi solutions for, for people who uh, are time poor or perhaps that's their style of, of this uh, metaverse investment, like, uh, cause you know, NFTs are, are becoming the new meme coin, for example. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's about, uh, you know, using, uh, maximum utility within the, the NFT, uh, space. Um, and so that's what we're kind of working on to deliver. Um, uh, did you guys see our AMA by any chance? Yes, I listened to it. I did listen to it while it was going on, and uh, I listened to it again actually before this. So yes, very familiar with uh, a lot of things you guys talked about. I, I like I said, I think the project, uh, the concept is there. I love the concept, and, we, and we're gonna have a lot of questions. We want to ask you about it. Um, this is my my man WT with us right here. WT and I, uh, we do a lot of these together. We do podcasts all the time. Play to earn love stuff. You. Uh, he's a, he's a, he's a great man. They're very knowledgeable in the space. Uh, he's a good person oh, yeah. to have for sure. Uh, WT, why don't you tell us about yourself? Hey guys, how we doing? I know we don't wear the glasses, but I'm hyped up for this project. <laughs> I've had a hype night. I watched some awful, awful amateur wrestling and it was so bad that it was good. <laughs> I literally just got home like 30 minutes ago from it and I was just so pumped up. I'm like, yeah, we're doing glasses tonight. So awesome. it's a special night throwing on the glasses and yeah, I I'm interested to hear about this project. There's a lot of good things I've seen about it. So I'm interested to hear to hear what you have to say tonight. Yeah, absolutely. And like I say, I'm, I'm going to ask you some questions if you want to just fire off and just explain the brand and everything. But I have like some questions because like sure. you say, you know, the NFTs yeah. and stuff. I feel I, one of the big things for me is liquidity pool. That, that to me is a big question, you know, like with, uh, you know, SLP and, and Axie and all that stuff. And a lot of these games, I've been involved in some of these games, you know, and it's like the, the liquidity pool just gets drained um, and it gets drained quick. Mm -hmm. And then you see the coin just sink and tank. And, you know, then how do you re recover? Um, do you have what kind of plans do you have in play to kind of keep that liquidity pool going without it getting drained and, you know, uh, just drained out in the first, you know, few months, year, whatever it is. Uh, do you have any plans to kind of keep that going? Burning mechanisms, like what do you have in play to keep that liquidity pool going? Yeah, yeah. Um, f first of all, I just want to say, like, you know, Axie Infinity and and some of these other pioneers in the game. I uh, just want to acknowledge that, you know, it would have uh, it would have been difficult when you when there's no other competitors and no one had kind of uh, launched one of these kind of games uh, with. Uh, uh, being able to understand how fast they would end up scaling. So obviously what we saw in, in this space uh, with these earlier projects like X Axie Infinity is they were scaling <laughs> at, uh, I don't know, hyper speed. Uh, and can you imagine trying to build an economy around uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, this this kind of speed uh, that they're traveling at? Right. And uh, so I think what we saw was uh, not the, the fact that they didn't implement uh, or foresee these uh these 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 mechanisms that um, they should have implemented um, in order to prevent that and, and focus more about the economy and less on the sales. Yeah. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm not bagging on them. Um, but what we can do uh, in Soulcraft is we can learn from their mistakes. Um, we can ensure yeah. that the, the the tokenomics 
uh, value, like everything is at the core of maintaining that value. You know, at, like we, we, we all, uh, as collectively as holders, we want the, the core team uh, to, to, to be able to uh, non-stop work on the economy and, and driving up the, the value of the token. Um, so there needs to be loads and loads of, of different new, fresh uh, incentives to, to, to hold and to purchase the token and buy back into the game as well. Yep. If we leave any loophole open, that is not thought through well, like for instance, breeding, and then someone breeds like 5,555 uh, pigs in the space of a week and sells them as NFTs, then every pig holder is going to lose out. You know what I mean? Like, right. so, um, and and uh, that's they'll have an unfair advantage. So, th- so these are the kinds of things that we need to uh, consider. Um, we've we've got on board uh, our tokenomics expert, uh, sorry, our, our game economy expert, uh, Khaled from Illuvium. He's a game designer within there, so he's had exposure across uh, Ethereum and, and a large scale game that that is growing. Um, and so, you know, we get that perspective of of, of someone who's experienced and, and able to bring over that knowledge over to us. Um, he's actually he's he's launched a, an article on his on his Twitter page uh, about the what he feels uh, was right and wrong with the economy of um, Axie Infinity, uh, and he's on he's on our team. I haven't utilized him. I'll be honest, I haven't utilized him as much as I should have because we've been you know gearing up for this launch and we've been building the game. However, the uh, 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 the, the chats are coming. I can tell you that it's going to be uh, it's 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 going to be a lot of consultation. I like how you said, and, and I say this all the time too, excuse me, <clears throat> I say this all the time too, it's like Axie Infinity had a tough road, and I don't want to talk about Axie because, you know, that's all we're about, but you're right, they were the first ones in, and, you know, everyone else can kind of learn from their mistakes, and that's just the way it's going to be from now on, they're going to use that kind of as like the example, like, listen, this is what we don't want to end up having, we got to figure out, and that's that's the advantage of kind of coming in after, is is you can see what works, and you can see what didn't work, and you can kind of learn from their mistakes, and learn from what 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 worked. I, I like the answer, man, I think that was, a, that was a really, really good answer. Now, I want to say is there going to be a free to play option? I know uh, you could, the dwar- the minting yeah. is going to be on the seventeenth, correct? So it's literally a, almost a week from today, pretty much a week from today, uh, from the moment we're filming this. And uh, yeah, so the minting is on the seventeenth, but there is is there going to be a free to play option? Uh, yes, there will be a free to play option. Uh, we haven't kind of put that into the scope of the plan yet uh, because you know we that is one of the, the many decisions that we think that the community should vote consensus of because first we need to uh, understand what the options are and how uh, adding a free-to-play uh, portal for, for people at a low uh, barrier uh, can enter the game and how it's going to affect the economy. And you know, the community might say, well, we don't want them to earn this much. Uh, we think it's fair that you know they have to um, really grind to get anywhere close to us mm-hmm. because we invested, and, and I understand that from an investor's right. perspective. Right. That's, that, I mean, that's, and that's just in any game, any, any, any situation whatsoever, there is, there are usually, you know, if there is that free to play option, yeah, sure. You can go that pr- free to play option, but you are going to be hindered along the way, or, you know, you're not gonna be able to earn as much as say, if someone put invested, I just, that makes yeah. uh, total, total sense. Um, and I know it's going to be on PC to start, uh, any thoughts on mobile? I believe there's thoughts to, to go on mobile from what I understand. Uh, but that could be kind of down the road. Yeah, correct. Down the road for now. So, you know, we don't want to uh, uh, say say mobile's around the corner. I'm saying more down the road. And the reason is because um, you need to have, you know, specific kind of graphics to, to, to have a playable game uh, on the mobile. Uh, some of the some of the late model phones will probably be able mm-hmm. to handle it uh, if we went to that that level. But I think to start off with, let's let's start off with browser. Uh, once the the graphics improve. Um, we will obviously go to install, uh, so you or download, so you can download the game and, and install it uh, because browser only has a certain capacity. Um, the, yeah, so that's that's so for the foreseeable future, browser is is going to be the main one, and the requirements uh, won't be super high. Like you won't need to have a, a thirty ninety Ti or anything right. like that. <laughs> um, like. <laughs> Yeah, you'll be able to play it on a, on, on a stock standard computer with a little bit of lag. Um, if you've got a little bit of graphics, mm-hmm. um, then then you'll definitely be able to play it easily. Yeah, see, I think to me, I think I think uh, like I say, like down the road, there's gonna be mobile. It's not gonna be like super intensive on on the on the computer, so you can you can play on you know 
uh, a lot more people can play. I think that's that's the kind of the thing is you want to be able to get more people in the game, um, you know, because if you're if you're limiting it to people with like you say just like high end computers, well, you're gonna limit yourself in the game and everything uh, there as well. I know WT listened to the AMA as well. Uh, WT, I know you had some questions and uh, some things you wanted to ask. Anything you wanted to bring yeah, up? I, I've got uh, I've got lots of questions, but for the viewers that don't even know much about this, uh, this is a, a game on uh, the Solana network. And it involves dwarves, elves, orcs, and battle pigs. Can you give us a little bit of exclamation about like the basic summary of this game for the people that have never seen this before? Yeah, sure. I'm, I'll just let you know, first of all, I'm horrible at summarizing this game. It's, it's, <laughs> I'll help you out, buddy. I got you. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. Okay. Great. I asked um, a bad question right off the bat. <laughs> I even, I like, when I first started doing these AMAs, and, and because I'm not the game developer in Coderius, is I used to say, call it a tower defense, and he was like, Dude, you, you you can't you can't do that. <laughs> so so um anyway uh, uh so so summary of the game so Soulcraft is a, a play to earn um PVE uh eventually free to play but let's uh let's let's uh not, not throw that in there right now mm -hmm. um that where you will purchase an NFT which is a dwarf miner the the dwarf miner uh rarity of the NFT like the picture that you see they'll have different rankings like you know uh, from private to to uh, major, I believe is the top. Or is it general? General is the top top ranking one, I believe. Um, and they'll have different types of armor on there. These will also come into play, and I've added the metadata in the back end of these NFTs, so then uh, we can kind of offer more uh, staking rewards from uh, the different ranks. So if you have a higher rank, you can stake more. Um, and they'll be carrying a battle pick. I was getting there. I was getting to the battle pick, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, miss the, the forest for the trees. Um, the, game, so, the game had me at Battle Pig. When I heard Battle Pig, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I think I'm getting into this. <laughs> For sure. So the Battle Pig, uh, every dwarf would be carrying a Battle Pig. Uh, just to let you guys know that uh, we threw a poll, uh, a community poll recently, and the outcome was that people want more animals like ram, a wolf, a baby wolf as well. Okay. Uh, we weren't sure if uh, we should squish, it, uh, squish uh, a timeline uh, to, to release those just yet, so we just held off on... I'm making an official announcement, so we will drop those uh, at a later stage in the game as well. So, but uh, we're not gonna—they're not gonna be for sale or anything. Uh, they'll be, you know, as as bonuses that we can kind of uh, reward people with. But anyway, uh, uh, battle pick, no, battle pick, battle pick. Now, the battle pick you can uh, raise and you can uh, feed uh, to get it to the, to the right maturity, so it's able to defend your your uh, dwarfs. Um, the battle pig starts off uh, as as a baby. I'm currently working on a UI prototype for the battle animal dashboard, where you be able to uh, see things like you know if uh, like how far away they are from being mature and how many uh, crops you're going to need to cultivate to be able to uh, feed them up to maturity. Um, you can also you know breed it with a, a female if you've got a male or or a male if you've got a female. Um, the uh, we haven't released uh, or we haven't uh, completed the artwork on the the adult battle animal battle animal, but I'll just let you know it's not going to be as cute as the little one. I want it to be badass, <laughs> nice. drooling, like you know, like looking like it would tear you a new asshole. Oh, I um, love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so the, these battle pigs and dwarfs, uh, you're going to be able to upgrade them, and that you're going to upgrade them with. Uh, a, a, Solonite, if I got it pronounced right, and that's going to be kind of correct. like a burn mechanic within the game. Uh, do I got that right? Yeah. So you, 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 yes, correct. So, so Solonite uh, that you spend on these crops and 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 on in-game items like potions to revive your dwarfs when they die, etc. Uh, your that that money is going to flow straight back into the economy. Uh, uh, so you know, as people are, for example, mining it out of there, uh, we're going to make sure that the incentive is really strong to purchase. Uh, and uh, we've got that even flow. Obviously, you know, we can't guarantee exactly how it's going to work if the, uh, we get this huge uh, amount of uh, influx and, and we have to scale rapidly, but we're going to do our best to, to learn from other people's mistakes in other big projects um, so we can look at uh, adding preventatives that they didn't implement at the time. Yeah, and I, I just want to give a quick recap on the game. So it's like an RTS game, correct? A real-time strategy game? Yeah, correct. Ah, sorry, action RTS. Uh, right. Yeah, real-time strategy game. Um, so uh, you, you, you want to defend your, your dwarfs using uh, shields and, and spells. 
Uh, currently, we've only got three uh, spells that we've been working on. Um, we're, there's going to be a hell of a lot more, but we don't want to have. We don't want you to have like all the spells at once. We want them to be earned. Right. Um, so then there's the possibility of implementing a skill tree. Um, Ooh. Yeah, yeah. So so things like that. Uh, you know that we want to have kind of you know ready uh, when we do an alpha release is is. Uh, and it's like it's, it's like each little uh, uh, each little uh, piece of the game is like a project within a project, if that makes sense. I, and so you know, once we go to release the alpha, I think we still release it no matter how much we've built, right? But then we you know we let people know it's a closed invite only alpha, and we're going to develop this together, um, play the game, have a feel of it, and then let's work out uh, what was cool, what we're going to ditch, uh, and what we're going to work on. I gotta say, like, I, I'll be very honest. I love the concept. I think the concept is is incredible. I was watching the gameplay footage you guys were showing today, and uh, I, I like it. I think it's neat. You have these uh, these dwarves, and you you mine solonite. It's called, I believe, right? And you have these like, if you're on your, you have a piece of land or whatever. There's like three different spots, or depending on how rare the land is, you could have more. And uh, so how it works is you're you're mining the solonite, and then I guess randomly orcs come in and they can attack you. Is that is that correct? Yeah, yeah correct. And and the waves of the orcs are going to be coming in. Uh, the difficulty level is going to be raising as they as they uh, respawn, and they're going to be coming from uh, all, all different type places of the map. Um, one thing that was mentioned today is that uh, people wanted to see uh, you know monsters, uh, you know, like uh, how you how you get the boss. Right. Uh, kind of after after getting to a certain level, and absolutely, uh, we will make a, you know a badass um, you know a minotaur or something that will just come and fully you know fuck you up. Nice. <laughs> yeah, and um, I, I I know you want to add elves in there too, right? And and I heard something about uh, air, it could yes. be an airdrop or something, which is pretty neat. I think that's a you know I don't know if that's yeah. confirmed. But uh, I think that's a nice way to, you know, like uh, when you have the early investors and the early adopters and the people that are that are in and, and you know, getting their foot in the door and helping push the, the game and stuff. I think it's always a nice I think airdrops is always something that people appreciate, especially the early adopters and stuff. So I don't know if it's, you know, confirmed it's going to be an airdrop or not. But I know you said you want to bring elves no, in no. and other other things as well along the way. Correct. Yeah, the battle pigs will be airdropped uh, after four weeks of of uh, purchasing the the dwarfs, and we'll do a snapshot of holders who have held that four weeks, and we're giving them uh, staking as well. So I'm like, if you're a paper hand after all that, mm -hmm. then you deserve a, a slap or something. I don't know. But, um, <laughs> yeah, you're giving back. That's what people, you know. That that that's. I mean, yeah. that's that's a good start, man, for sure. No, I, I say I, I think the concept's great. I like. I was watching the gameplay footage today. I liked what I saw. You get your dwarves. You can send them off to 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 mine. And uh, so how does it work? Is there going to be like an energy system? Like, you know, when you're mining the, the, the solonite, is it like you can only mine for so long? Or if you're on 24 hours a day, you can mine for 24 hours a day. You just got to be there to defend it, defend your dwarves kind of thing. Like how, what's, how is that going to work? It's going to, it's going to be based more around equipment. So, uh, you know, you have equipment to cool down period. Uh, if you upgrade your equipment, the cool down periods will be a lot less. Got it. Um, and just incentivize people to spend money on upgrading uh, and then they can kind of work out the returns from there. Um, I mean, the, the, the key point at the start of the game is to gather as much solonite as you can while it's at its lowest cost. Right. Um, however you can, get the solonite. doesn't matter if uh, you've got a common miner or whatever, just keep them at work, get the solonite. We will work on, on raising that token value and getting it listed, uh, and we will focus on, on the core value because as, as we earn, you guys earn as well. Like we're, we're buying into this game uh, the same way that everyone else is, um, whether it's you know uh, uh, in the in the private sale or uh, once it hits the market. Yeah, that's one thing I heard you say too is that uh, you're not going to have any land or anything. You know, you're getting it just like everybody else, right? So when the sale goes on, that's when you guys are going to get in, and if you don't get it, you're going to go yeah. uh, secondary market. Is that correct? Yeah. So we're not doing a separate mint, is what I'm saying. However, uh, we will have to do a separate mint for the projects that we partner with, but we've only got you know two uh, two. Two to three partners announced, I believe, mm -hmm. and two to three partners are uh, not uh, not going to be announced yet. We're saving those up our sleeves, nice. but um, but uh, yeah. So so we kind of. Um, oh, sorry, what was the question again? <laughs> well, you're saying because <laughs> I know I know for like for the for the minting and stuff. I, I believe you guys were saying you're you know when the minting goes live, you're going to be picking them up as well. And if you can't get enough, you're gonna you're gonna be buying them off the secondary market as well, right? You're you're gonna buy it just like oh, everybody yeah, else. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, I think that's fair. Like, I think, you know, we, 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 
uh, you gain the investment from people, we should uh, be like an, we, we see ourselves as as equals in the. And I'm not trying to virtual signal uh, virtue signal, um, but we see ourselves as just like you guys, you know, gamers, um, entrepreneurs, or you know, whatever whatever category you fall into. Right. Um, and and we're we're opening this up, so it's just something cool we can all share. Uh, not not something that you know the people at the top have and they hold closely. And, uh, you know, they just keep showing you little flashes of, of pictures of games and, and then, you know, six months down the track, the, the token tax or, or whatever. Um, we're not about that is what right. I'm trying to say. And can you, are you going to be able to, like with the Solonite, what is, what are you going to use it for? You're able to mint dwarves or no? Is it more for armor? Is it more to upgrade? What do you, what do you do Correct. with it? Yeah. Uh, you upgrade, uh, you can upgrade, you can obviously exchange it for, for soul if you, if you mm -hmm. want to paper hand it, but what we're going to do, um, uh, as extra incentive, like when I mentioned, you know, we want to really get into the hybrid version of this, where, where we start building a lot around the DeFi uh, area as well. So, you know, if, if we can implement, um, the perfect, uh, because because the, the current um, staking that we're we're launching after after mint is going to be through third party through our partner Parlay, who already have a staking system set up, um, and so they're just going to integrate us into that staking system. That is only temporary. That is not our official DeFi staking system. That'll be in Soulcraft. Uh, but we will be creating that as well. We're going to stop the staking once we open up the game, and you can actually earn Solonite from that. So the liquidity pools just to hold us over between that interim. Um, it's not going to be our official liquidity pool. Our official liquidity pool is going to be more in-game with our in-game marketplace as well. And so people, uh, we want, we obviously want to generate, I think we will generate a lot of income through a secondary marketplace, uh, sorry, through our own marketplace uh, where people can purchase as their secondary marketplace without having to pay fees and, and that kind of stuff to, uh, uh, let's say, I don't know if I'm allowed to mention names, let's say Schmagic Schmieden. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, you say whatever you want here, man. I mean, there's you know, you say whatever you want, man. <laughs> so, so, so let's say you know, there's a lot of money that places, and if we can, uh, if we can launch our own marketplace, uh, especially at the, the 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 time that popularity grows, uh, all those fees can be funneled back into the liquidity pool for the mining as well. Um, so, you know, we just got to create our own businesses within the business. Uh, to eliminate people going to third party uh, um, places that don't return back to the value of our players. Right, right. Now, I know to, to start the game, it's going to be a single player, right? You're starting single player. And then eventually you want to bring co-op in. Now, how is that going to work? How does co-op work? Like how you just mine on the same land? What does that mean exactly when you're saying you can play co -op, cooperatively? Yeah, cooperatively would be like, for example, you can team up, go on the same land as someone. Uh, and uh, like one of you guys can take turns at, at, at smashing, uh, or you can smash the orcs together, basically. So you have two heroes together, or however many are in your your team, because it's not going to be one hero that you get all the time. You can recruit maybe you know uh, three or four, uh, like a couple mages and a couple paladins or something like that. Um, so yeah, I, I did I answer that? <laughs> yeah no no you're good you're good so yeah it's just co-op play okay so you help each other you work each other out you both mine together you defend the orcs yeah. together whatever it is yeah no that makes sense that makes sense uh wt did you have anything you wanted to say uh oh, yeah actually, oh sorry oh, go ahead uh, no, just go one ahead. thing so pvp is totally different um pvp is different from the co-op so it'll be a totally different gameplay dynamic um uh, pvp will be more planning uh, more strategy um because uh we don't want to make it so you get some big giant uh, whale who has just suited up his uh, heroes in gold and shining armor, and he's just going to crush you like a little ant <laughs> and take your solidite. Uh, obviously, we need to we need to really think those uh, elements through. So then there is some form of perhaps you know cooperative defense um, against a PvP attack. Um, so maybe you might want to you know, team up with someone as a uh, let's let's mine here and make this our safe spot, um, kind of thing. I like that. Very like interesting. That. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, that's. I was actually going to ask about that with the PvP because I, I had it in my notes here. Uh, well, a, a comment I have is one of the things I like about Soulcraft that I've seen so far that your team is doing is a lot of products that I'm in. It's invest first and get the NFTs and then wait. 
uh, we've already seen actual gameplay footage from you guys. You're planning on doing staking four days after the mm -hmm. the NFT mint, and it seems like you guys have kind of flipped that schematic around in the NFT space where we're going to put out a product first for you guys to see and actually interact with right as we're minting. And I, I kind of like that. I, I think a lot of people are tapped out on being patient in this space because it does require mm -hmm. a lot of patience. So I'm actually very excited that you guys are taking this route. You, and then another thing too, the fact that you guys put this all together like in, in less than a year, just mm -hmm. blows my mind because I'm in, I'm in several projects and this stuff is difficult and it takes time. So kudos to you guys for getting this done this fast. I don't know how you did it, but great job. And uh, that, that was just my comment. And a question that I had, was thank you thank you no problem you guys cho uh, chose the solana network there's some other networks out there obviously ethereum's got high gas fees but there's other ones like polygon and immutable x uh what made you guys choose the solana network i, I guess um we kind of already had experience in, in gaming on the wax blockchain and we've already seen in of nfts and gaming before uh, solana was even released However, like building on, on such platforms, uh, you get to see their flaws as well and limitations. Uh, the Wax blockchain is absolutely great. I'm not putting down the Wax blockchain at all, just for the record. Um, and it has its place within the metaverse. But um, we kind of saw, uh, we, we, we foresaw this and, and we kind of had, had did some research to see what else is out there. And this is before the time, uh, probably around the time that Solana were just looking into NFTs and uh, a, a bit, bit further down the track than that and, and having a look at, uh, you know, the kind of uh, um, things you can do with a game uh, in terms of uh, like their, their scalability um, and the, the speed of their transactions and the constant improvement. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like that was a good uh, blockchain to work uh, alongside because that's, that's what Soulcraft is about as well, constantly improving um, and, and thinking about the future. Um, so, uh, IMX was another chain we looked at as well. Um, I, I definitely see big potential there, and I'm invested in, in the IMX as well. Um, so if you're watching this and you're from IMX, uh, send me some tokens. I'll be happy. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> me too. Me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah me, too, me, us, too, me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. To make up for the losses because I bought in pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> It'll come back. It'll come back. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm waiting for the day. Um, so, so yes, yeah, so I think um, I think Solana has a beautiful ecosystem as well. Um, the, 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 the communities are, are just like no other, like coming from a, a wax blockchain where, you know, some, one of their games, for example, alien worlds has higher user volume and you probably like everyone I tell this, that they don't only know this, but that has higher user volume than Axie infinity, not mm -hmm. higher, a monetary revenue, but higher user volume that shows how many people are actually in the space that are not even on the Solana and the Ethereum radar. You know, so, um, so yeah, actually, Alien Worlds is where we got the land because uh, I, I played Alien Worlds when, uh, uh, just before it got listed on Binance, a Trillium was the token. And um, I was uh, mining this token at like 0 0.002 cents. And then um, we had like me and a few of the other gamers that had found this game early, uh, you know, had accumulated thousands of tokens. and. Um, and then it hit uh, Binance and it went up to like $7 or something crazy. Um, and uh, it went from, you know, people discussing, uh, you know, where they think the future of DeFi is and, and about the Alien Worlds game to people discussing what house they're going to buy with their winnings <laughs> from, from Alien Worlds. Uh, we had land holders that uh, aped in at around uh, 200, 300 USD, uh, with the equivalent of that in WAX. Um, and uh, their land, after it was listed on Binance, went up to uh, no land obtainable for less than 10,000 USD. That's wild. Um, so, and you know what? Out of all of this, the game was boring as shit. And yeah, no offense to you, Alien Worlds. That was, um, the, that was one of the first the, games the I played. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. My God. Yeah, that was one of the um, first games I played. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah we, uh, we managed to make friends with uh, yeah. one of the team from Alien Worlds. So, uh, he, he was doing some freelance um smart contract work uh, as a front end dev for Alien Worlds and he understands uh, the mechanics really, really well. And he's, uh, he's come on board to lead our blockchain team. 
Um, so, so his name's Dean. He's got his mm-hmm. own project as well, or card game on the Wax blockchain. So, you know what? Like, there's not many uh, uh, builders come out in this in the Solana space that already have like proven project experience in their development team. Um, so, you know, if that doesn't make you bullish as I am, then I don't know what will. <laughs> yeah, I, so, yeah. I I personally find myself on to be honest with you, I personally find myself looking at the Solana blockchain, the, the Solana network more mm-hmm. and more. I, I I'm total I have total faith in Solana uh, network to be honest with you. Um, I'm finding more and more. I keep looking in that direction more and more myself personally. I I, I agree, man. I think it's great. Yeah, like I like I said, I know all about uh, uh, Alien Worlds and there's our there's a bunch of games. Yeah, I, I know all about those, man, for sure, <laughs> for sure. I I want to talk about um land and stuff uh i don't know if you know how much or if you even want to say how much it is to to mint or whatever but we got lots i got i love land land is that's what i love man that's my that's what gets me excited you know um crack my knuckles for that one yeah so i don't know if you want to talk about mint prices i don't know if you know mint prices i don't know what you want to say or whatever but i know there's going to be renting right um sorry yeah not not renting for land but renting for the dwarfs uh, okay. So if you've got like, let's say you're a dwarf whale and you've got like 30 of them, uh, you don't want to, you, you can only uh, gain with 10 at a time in, in the game. Right. Um, so obviously you're going to have some, some overflow there and you, you, you want to, um, uh, yeah, put, put those to use by uh, renting them out to other players. And you know, what's crazy about all of this, like, I, I just, I, I just uh, envisage that, you know, like this, this dwarf that, that you, you, you paid a small amount for, um, if, if, you know, if this project, uh, and I don't, I don't want to get ahead of myself, does moon, um, the potential, uh, uh, like, and, and the, the, the barrier of entry gets pretty high for the people who, who slept on Soulcraft. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what some of those rental rates are. Right. As, as, as that's all I can say. I can't speculate any further. Than that. Right. I mean, it's, right. So what's so there is no renting on the land. So how what, so you buy the land and you want people to obviously mine on your land, right? Correct. That's, oh, that's... Right. yes. Yeah, so, you, so you don't rent the land. You own it, man. Okay. So, uh, okay. so you can hold on to that plot forever, mm-hmm. uh, or you can. You know, land renting isn't it isn't uh, a bad idea, but maybe more for advertising purposes down the track. Right. I, thought anyway, you could, uh, uh, I thought you could let people mine on your land for a percentage, right? Correct. So you're not renting uh, that land uh, kind of to them in a way. Um, that land is part of you know the overall global map, and so you know they can they can mine that land or mine that unless you switch it to private. Um, but right. that block's always going to be there, and there's not going to be more blocks added. Right. Uh, so people will always need to mine the land. Um, the land, the, the, the land uh, supply is not going to be anywhere near uh, 5,000, uh, what the dwarves are. We wow. want to make sure that there's plentiful uh, uh, dwarves uh, to, to mine the land. However, we're going to release the land in stages. So as we release the owls, however we release them, mm-hmm. um, we will release land plot too, but we'll just make sure that we don't oversaturate the market with too much land, uh, and then uh, which will affect mining profits. So we're all about... Getting profits with uh, with returns, obviously. Right. I mean, to me, I mean, lands are. Yeah. I mean, I'm. I like I said, I get excited when I hear the word land, and uh, so that's okay. So that's interesting. So basically, you're, how do you can you? I don't know what you want to speak on the land. Of, like how much of our minting, or how many p- plots of land are going to be released, or how many are going to be in total. Um, do you want to answer any of those, or just uh, is that not kind of uh, public knowledge yet, or whatever it is? Um, or just maybe not even fully developed yet into an answer not fully developed yet to be able to answer with confidence right exactly uh, and that's because there's a lot of consultation that needs to be and consideration even further than what we already have uh, thought through um with with other parties before like it's best not to just internalize decisions like that within your team uh, it's best to kind of reach out and, and and speak to experts that are that have already kind of been in that field so i, I right. guess that when we're actually mapping out uh, and we're, we're, we're coming to a final decision, I'll definitely bring in uh, Dean from Alien Worlds to, to consult with me uh, a lot more around that time when we're putting those figures together. One of the cool things that you guys said, and I, I, I've been in a bunch of your Twitter space stuff, I can't remember which one, but what, somebody in your group was talking about if you held a land, it would be a really cool idea for somebody that's in this space and wants to do things to promote themselves or whatever, they could have their own like little event and they could set like a a parameter of like, 
uh, for this this week in my special event, we're gonna have a, a, a sale on the percentage that it, that I charge normally for you to come and mine here. And whoever's a top miner, I'm gonna give a prize or I'm gonna do something like that. I didn't even think about it from that that aspect, but somebody in your group was talking about that. And I was like, man, me, I'm always trying to do cool things and stuff like that. Even for other games, I could try to get people to come over here and and get a get just one dwarf come and mine on my land during this event to promote another game or another maybe merch yes. line that i'm doing or whatever and i thought that was a great you see idea. the vision you see yes. the vision brother exactly you know, not many of the, the, the people in our community are well aware of the extent of 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 the vision of where we're heading um some of them you know catch bits and pieces of the amas and what have you but uh knowing that is uh, absolutely valuable yeah um so um uh yeah, what was the was was that a question as well? Or? No, I was just commenting on it that, that we were yeah. on the, the the terms are, are the discussion oh, yes. about land and it was something that oh, caught yeah. my ear a little while ago and I just wanted to mention it. <laughs> I apologize. It's been a long day. No, I, it, I, I listen. I, a, I believe you. Coffee. I believe uh, you. I had man. Coffee. So, <laughs> um, so, so yeah. What, so what we'll be doing in, in terms of the event um, is uh, like for example, if uh, our partner Exiled Apes decided that they wanted to give away an exile deck and we're talking like a, a three thousand or more dollar nft or you know three three uh, uh i don't know what the floor is i think it might be 34 or something on the exile apps or more uh, but shout out to them uh, we love them they, they they do good thing good things in this space and they help a lot of projects that get uh smashed uh by by ruggies so i just wanted to shout out to them um so 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 what we'll be doing like for example is if we were to um, if, if, if sorry, if the exiled apes were to uh, want to to maximise their solonite returns and have it maxed out with with dwarfs, they can obviously plant a uh, incentive of a NF, one of their NFTs into a random uh, a block of, of, of solonite, um, and that would allow people to you know have the excitement of being able to win a three thousand dollar prize within you know a a within this environment and pick, uh, and obviously as a uh, we as and as investors, we need to work out what our returns are, um, and you know. So if you work out that it's worth your while uh, to have uh, you know thirty miners by doing the marketing and 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 planning a, a three thousand dollar NFT, if you think the returns are going to absolutely smash that, um, then it's in your best interest to 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 market your land plot to get the maximum mining capacity of dwarfs on there. Yeah, like I, I, I think it's awesome, man. I think yeah. it's good. And the fact that you have like connections like that, you say you can kind of bring in and work together. I think that's cute. I think that's good, man. I think that's huge. Um, uh, oh, you know, I know. Your next question is when Capone Gaming Land. When Capone <laughs> Gaming Land? That's it, man. Let's not talk. I'm gonna tell you, man. Like, uh, so I, I do stream. I do stream on, on Twitch, and you know, I have this thing. And uh, I always love showing the community the games. I love showing them the games. I love seeing yeah. them. Love hearing about them and all that stuff. Uh, you know, we do have a pretty good, uh, you know, play to earn and, and crypto and blockchain community built into the Twitch channel. So they always they're always excited to hear and see things. So Capone Land. I mean, you know, I mean, why not, right? WT Land. You know, we could we could do this, right? Uh, I, I gotta. So you, you're saying that you can. You could, you could rent dwarves and stuff, right? Now, are you guys doing this? Are you guys doing this in house or as a third party? Like, how how are we going to be able to to rent out our dwarves um, and stuff? A, a bit of a, like the, the rental system or how our team? Like, so you mean the rental system? Yeah. The, like, say, like I have, say, I have eleven dwarves. I want to rent one out. Let's just say, um, is it done in house? Is it done like through you guys or is it a third party? Currently, I'm looking at exploring the option integrate. Um, because uh, they, they, it's it's not like a, a launch pad or anything where you just get these horrendous fees. Um, and uh, if if it still results in, in the economy benefiting it, benefiting be, benefiting <laughs> from it, um, oh, just give me two seconds. I'm out of water. I like your vi- I like oh. them, man. I like your vibes, man. I like you. <laughs> if, if it comes to the community benefiting from it, then then obviously. Uh, we we will uh, go ahead and pursue that that third um, uh, party uh, staking, and if it's secure, uh, we don't want you know people to stake a, a bunch of dwarfs and, and then go busy. So it have to be right. something reputable. Um, I'm already in talks with I, I forgot the name of them, but I'll tell you it's in my DMs. And in fact, I've had uh, I've missed a couple meetings because of the time zones are way out of whack uh, with right. them. But uh, I give you guys my word, I will get on this call with them. <laughs> um and uh and work out um how, how we're going to implement the the renting mechanism for after the staking is finished now um, if you, but, oh sorry go ahead, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. no if, if your dwarves are staked can you still use them while they're staked or do you have to unstake them to use them 
Yeah, you can still work. So, so staking, uh, you won't, at the start, the, the game's not going to be available. Um, so you so you won't be able to, like, you'll still probably have them in your wallet. Pretty right. sure it's escrow staking. But um, we, like I mentioned uh, a lot earlier, is we're going to look at um, abolishing the third-party staking um, once we do our game launch, because you'll be able to earn within the game. Right. We will look at launching staking again uh, on the DeFi side of the gaming uh, within our platform. So we want to bring it in-house. Um, I don't have an exact figure on when that is, and plus, if the community decide, they might decide they want us to implement something else before that, and that's not so important to them. But those, those are the kinds of decisions that we want to uh, present to the DAO once we've assembled them. Yeah, no, I, like I said, so for those, again, um, um, I, you know, maybe I'll have to do another video of some gameplay uh, sometime. i got to show you guys. The, the, the concept behind the game is, is I haven't seen anything like this before. I think it's amazing. The concept's great. Uh, mining Solonite. Uh, it's like, uh, you know, um, Warcraft kind of feel without, you know, not Warcraft, you know, Soulcraft. Uh, but it's amazing, man. You see the dwarves. You can send them out to craft. The orcs are going to come attack. You got to defend them. Uh, beautiful game. The, I was looking at the, I was watching the MA and the, and the videos you did and the, the painted buildings and all that stuff. It's, it's beautiful. It's, it is a beautiful game and I can't wait to see it when it's released and all put out into practice. You know, when I have my doors, I am going to be getting some as well. Um, you know, and it's just, I, I, I can't wait to show the community and, and, uh, and play it because like I say, this con the concept is there. The concept is phenomenal. I think it's, I think it's unbelievable and I, and I and i can't wait to see it in, in play you know what i mean so uh, i, I yeah, fell in love with it as cool. soon as i as soon as i heard about it i fell in love with it immediately immediately that that means so much uh you know like it's uh, it's it's crazy because before you do the marketing it's so quiet and you literally are uh, 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 chasing this goal and uh when there's no noise around it when when no one believes in you right you know and uh if anyone can take a message out of that, if you've got a vision and you want it strong enough, you will get it. You've just got to be prepared to do it when there's no noise. Uh, and and obviously do your research first, like obviously. <laughs> like don't go jumping into a, a crazy business that you can't sustain financially or anything like that. Um, right. But I appreciate your words so strongly. And you know what? I think the people are probably dying for us to give away a couple of things. Oh, Ooh. Yes. Oh, <laughs> let's. I'm. I'm all ears. Let's oh. hear it. Um. So. Um. I don't know how you want to run it. If you. If you ever run uh, a, a giveaways like this of NFTs, mm -hmm. obviously we haven't minted yet. We're minting on the seventeenth of March. But uh, if you join our Discord and you say, uh, in the in the, the whitelist proof section, uh, that you you were one or uh, you heard me speaking on Capone Gaming. Uh, we'll, we will VIP you, five people, and the first person to do it, we will uh, give you an NFT winning role, uh, which nice. will mean that you will be granted one free NFT uh, come mint time. Uh, so once we've minted, um, I will purchase one off the secondary market, and I will send it to you myself. There you go. Uh, we, don't have, we don't have pre-minted, and I'll make sure it's not a common. I will... I'll, I won't say it's going to be a mythical because those are expensive. <laughs> but uh, I mean, sorry, uh, the, the, we haven't minted. We don't have a floor price yet. So right. not financial advice. <laughs> right. But, uh, <laughs> mythicals are going to be rare. I mean, you know, we know that. <laughs> yeah. right. you're, just, you're just going to send them some gold pigs and, and mythics, right. right? <laughs> <laughs> I wish, man. I, I, I wish, uh, you know. So you heard it here in the video, guys. We're not going to give you any heads up on it. If you watch this video to this point, then you're going to know what to do. And that's what we do. What I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to put the, uh, your discord link in the, in the description below so people can find it. So people are going to get in the discord. I'm going to put all your socials below as well. Any socials you want, we're going to put below. Uh, like I say, guys, this, this, this project to me, it looks beautiful. The concept is there. Um, uh, I'm excited to see, I'm excited to see how, uh, how it plays out and everything, you know, but the, the concepts there for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. And, uh, yeah, we were watching the AMA today. I'm going to put some links. I'll put whatever links you want, uh, uh link to the AMA, whatever you need uh, below. We'll definitely, uh, get that out there. Oh, I think right. that was awesome. Uh, WT uh, I'm not going to say no to that. I will yeah. uh, I'll send you through the links shortly. Awesome. <clears throat> WT, what else you got to say, baby? Yeah. I, I want to sneak in one last thing here. It's not a big, big question, but, uh, so it looks like you got dwarves, orcs, elves, and beta coming out by the end of Q3 this year. That seems really ambitious. And we've been in this space and we've seen delays in all kinds of different projects and even the big projects. So 
if you guys keep along your timeline and everything goes smooth like you're planning and we know things can happen, when do you see a, a full launch coming roughly in your head? So so post beta, like, I, look, to be honest, I don't see an official uh, full launch. I see us working with beta until the beta is, uh, I, I think we should, I think it's important to keep it revolving um, and, okay. and, and just treating it like a beta constantly. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't, I don't want to be like, you know, we're finished guys. Uh, thanks for coming. <laughs> Enjoy the dwarfs and uh, we'll see you uh, another time. Right. No, <laughs> I get you. I get you. I get yeah, you. Yeah, Loud yeah. and clear. I like that. Awesome. Yeah, no, honestly, man, you're, you're a blast. It was really nice to hear you talk and, and, uh, and explain the project and, and everything. And, uh, yeah, guys, if you're listening, it's, uh, the 17th, March 17th is the mint date. Uh, it's going to be point. What is it? 0.88. What is it? How much is it per mint? Well, for the VIPs, yes. 0.88 sol. Um, and for the, uh, standard whitelist, you know, last but not least, uh, it will be 0.99. Uh, and then, uh, all the, NFTs, if any, that are left over from those two sales, uh, will go to public sale. Perfect. Perfect. What, what's that at one one point five or? No, no, no. Public sale is still point nine nine. Oh uh, wow! We, Very nice. We abolished nice. anything over a soul because, uh, as you guys know, um, we we wanted to to encourage more dwarfs per holder. Um, uh, yeah. So right. No, that's that's a good play for sure. That's a good play for sure. Um, again, um, I, I love the concept. I got to say, I, I do love the concept. I'm very, very excited. Is there anything you want to close up with? Anything you want to say to the people watching right now? Anything you want to close it up with? Yeah, massively. Um, what I want to do is uh, people who are watching this uh, from someone who gets DM'd with uh, YouTube influences and other influences like ton- dozens of times a day through Twitter, through DMs and everything, it is really hard to find genuine uh, 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 YouTubers, I won't say influencer, uh, mm-hmm. or maybe should I say influencer, but uh, to find genuine people in this space who aren't going to every project and going uh, one ETH, uh, and I'll yeah. and I'll and I'll flick you out there without doing any research. I want you to know that these these two guys, uh, you know, especially UWT, who mm-hmm. I first started talking with, and then you were relaying back to Capone. Yeah. We did a lot of research on our project. They do not take, uh, you know, promoting a project lightly, and uh, and and we don't take, you know, uh, are coming on board and 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 putting our time out there for people um, who aren't interested in the project. So that is why we came. That is why we agreed to do this with with Capone Gaming. Yeah. Um, and and uh, just mad respect for people who are grinding genuinely out there. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And and th- you know what? I'm I'm very glad you said that because we're in the same boat. It's like, you know, we get approached so much as well. And it's like, you know what? If I don't believe in it or if I have no interest in it, it's like, n- no. Like, I'm not just going to throw anything up there. You know, that's just not how it is. So um, thank you very much for the kind words. Again, uh, yes, I did listen to MMA. I, I you know, I've been, uh, I, I fell in love with the concept the second I saw it. And I'm very, very excited to see how it's going to play out and with the, with the dwarves and stuff. Um, I'm excited. I'm super excited. So thank you again for coming on and talking with us. Uh, I know you've been super busy. You've been super busy. I know you had an AMA today. You did one yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yesterday and today? Yeah. Yes. And uh, it's not going to stop, man. Uh, This is... uh Gaining, gaining traction, you know, it's not, yeah. it's not going to be like an overhyped project where we've got a you know, hundred thousand people talking a million miles an hour within our discord. Mm-hmm. We've, we've done some work to make it organic, just like you guys are, you know, right. g- g- grinding it organically um, to get it to where it is today. We, we handpicked who we invited for this project. Um, and uh, yeah, they're, they're on it. They're on it for long term, just like us. Yeah. 100%. Just like you guys. I appreciate that. That is amazing. So uh, I want to say thanks again for coming on, WT. You're an absolute beauty. And again, uh, you know. Uh, I appreciate w- you guys, man. Yeah, w- WT is is incredible. This man is someone you definitely want on your side in this, in this ah, business. This guy is good. He, he's, he knows his stuff. He's, uh, he's you know, honestly, he's the rock star, man. He's the rock star in the duo for sure. And this is the start of our relationship, lads, in this, in this uh, you know, Web3 verse, um, you know, just getting started. So so we yeah. will make sure we touch base a lot Absolutely. with you guys. 100%. Yeah, let's see I mean, where this goes. And, uh, yeah, thanks for coming out. We appreciate it. And as always, love you. All right. Go. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. You know the drill. Leave a comment. I'm out of here. Peace. Peace.